Do I think that this is blind by word? You quite make it to where Intense Cafe went. I mean, Priscilla is coming. Being a bit too harsh now or being annoying. Intense Cafe might swallow it. I repurchased this fragrance when it's finished. You'd be very lucky to get up to six hours with this one. My people, my people, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time seeing my face, then salutations. My name is Priscilla. AKA CC, AKA Prissy, AKA Ila, AKA Scylla, AKA Miss Prissy, baby. And I make videos to help you smell good, look good, and feel good. So if that's something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing, like this video, and let's get right into the video of today. talking about a fragrance called gentle fluidity gold and i'll be talking about this fragrance in 5p categories i'll be talking about the packaging the price the performance the projection and finally i'll be finishing it off with my personal thoughts so if that's something you're interested in without further ado let's get right into the video Special background about this fragrance gentle fluidity gold is an amber vanilla fragrance that was launched in 2019 and it's manufactured or made or the perfume or the nose behind it is Maison Francis Cojan. Now we know Maison Francis Cojan for Baccarat Rouge 540, which I think, if I do say so myself, is the most popular fragrance from this line. Now, if you have Baccarat Rouge 540 or you want another fragrance from the line and you don't want Baccarat Rouge 540, or you're looking to add something else to your collection if you already have Baccarat Rouge 540. Now, Gentle Fluidity Gold is another fragrance that I definitely recommend. Now, this fragrance comes in a white box with a gold cover. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but yeah, that's it. I bought mine in a 35 ml. This fragrance comes in a 35 ml, in a 70 ml, and also comes in the 200 ml. So that's the packaging. Comes in a transparent bottle with a gold cap, which just opens like that. So that's what the 35 ml looks like. I might put a photo of what the 70 ml looks like and what the 200 ml looks like. And this is what the 35 ml looks like. So it's got that mason francis kushan um logo on there it's got that on the inside of the cap and it's also got that at the back of the bottle the reason i'm showing you all of this is just in case you're buying you want to purchase it and you you just need to be sure what it looks like so that's what it looks like the juice is quite transparent as well as you can see and then it's written mason francis kushan paris gentle fluidity so yeah that's what the fragrance looks like in terms of the packaging. Now, in terms of the price, I bought the 35 ml for 90 pounds. I don't know if that would translate to in dollars or euros. The um, 70 ml is 165 pounds and the 200 ml currently retails for 315 pounds. So I bought the 35 ml because like I've mentioned before on my channel, I have you know a couple of fragrances. I don't want to buy big bottles of any one until I'm very sure that you know, I like it enough to upgrade to a big bottle, but I want to be able to get through my fragrances. I'm not a fragrance collector, and so that's why I just buy little bottles at a time. So yeah, that's the price. The 35 ml for 90 pounds, the 70 ml for 165 pounds, and the 200 ml for 315 pounds. I'll allow you to do the math so that you know which one is cheapest, but this currently works out at about three pounds, you know, per ml you know from off the top of my head now in terms of the performance i'll start off by reading off the notes of this fragrance for you it's got um it's got um vanilla amber musk wood zeno juniper berries nutmeg and coriander so this fragrance has got that balance between fruitiness with the juniper berries it's got that vanilla and amber that mix up to also give it that sweetness and then it also has that nutmeg and coriander which are quite spicy notes we, I personally think this is a very well blended fragrance and in my opinion the vanilla and it, it kind of smells floral as well in my opinion I don't know why it gives me that floral feeling but there's nothing floral in the notes but I think the fruity and um, vanilla notes take over in this fragrance it's quite a fresh fragrance and in terms of the performance in my opinion with this one you're looking to get about four You'd be very lucky to get up to six hours with this one. I would just stick, you know, 
on just on the side of caution i'll say for four hours and then you might have to top up with this fragrance but it's a very beautiful fragrance now loads of people have mentioned that this fragrance smells a bit like intense cafe in my opinion um I can see what people are saying. It starts off that way, but it doesn't quite make it to where Intense Cafe went to, in my opinion. However, I think it's a really beautiful fragrance to layer with Intense Cafe to bring out the performance. Intense Cafe might swallow it up, but again, I like to layer fragrances from the, that have got like similar scents or are from similar scent families. So yeah, I can see myself layering this with Intense Cafe, but I don't personally think that Gentle Flority Gold quite went to where Intense Cafe went. This is a more subtle, it sits closer to the skin kind of fragrance. So in terms of the projection, you know, that leads me to the projection. This sits quite close to the skin, in my opinion. Um, somebody has to be in your, in your very personal space to smell this. So I personally will wear this to a date. I wouldn't wear this like to work because for, in my opinion, I personally feel Four hours into work you're not going to be smelling this anymore and that might you know upset you so this is a fragrance to wear to a, like a shorter event where you don't have to be for a very long time which i think would be a date um and because it sits very close to the skin if somebody comes into your personal space then they'll be able to appreciate this fragrance better in my opinion now, in terms of my personal thoughts um would i repurchase this fragrance when it's finished no Am I being a bit too harsh now or being annoying? It's a nice scent. <sighs> Maybe I'll repurchase another 35 ml. I don't really think, I don't really see myself going to 70 ml with this fragrance. Mm -mm. I don't see myself making that much of a commitment with this fragrance. I might just repurchase the 35 ml, but I doubt because Intense Cafe gives me what this fragrance gives me that floral sweetness, but it's more beast mode and that's just to my taste Some people like subtle fragrances that sit closer to the same skin Some people like milder fragrances some people, you know, are, have allergies and so therefore anything that is too strong might offend them and this Is a nice fragrance for you because this is mild. This is not going to annoy anybody. This is not offensive and so this might be for you but for me because i like my fragrances to enter into the room before i enter you know like i like my fragrances to go ahead of me and do the work of saying oh she's coming priscilla is coming this is not going to do that for me so for that reason i may not repurchase it but i think it's such a beautiful beautiful scent you know the sort of fragrances that you wish they're such a nice scent but they you just wish they lasted a bit longer Gentle fluidity gold in summary. Literally, if, if if lasting longer was a person or a fragrance, it would be gentle fluidity gold in my opinion. Now, do I think that this is blind buy worthy? Yes. I think this is a safe blind buy. I doubt and I I just struggle to see how anyone would would be upset with this but again we're all different but i think this is such a safe blind buy because it, it doesn't lean whichever way if you're somebody who likes amber floral fresh scents you'll definitely like this one like i said it's not too floral it's not too sweet it's not too anything it's just really balanced and that's why i think it's a safe blind buy like yeah i personally think it's a safe blind so buy. yeah if you've tried gentle fluidity go please let me know in the comment section share your thoughts with me what do you think about it you know do you think it's a safe blind buy do you think it, it is does it perform really well on your skin how do you wear this do you layer it do you wear it alone let me know in the comment oh, section good stuff like share subscribe help me grow my channel see you in my next video forward to see you again in my stay next beautiful video. stay blessed hi and bye